Well, everybody worship the living God. Woo! And I need Lifting up holy hands without doubting, without doubting. Lifting up our holy hands without doubting, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, you reign. Hallelujah, you reign. Living God. Welcome to the flow. Welcome to the supernatural flow of the living God. Yeah. Deep in your river, Lord. Uh, deep in your river, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Na, 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 na. our life, Lord. We cry for your glory. Oh, we cry out for your glory. All the earth will know, Lord, and for your glory. Oh, come on, sing it out. For your Cry for your glory. Ah, we cry out for your everything is for your all is for your glory. We cry for your glory. Ah, yeah, for your glory. Ah, yeah, yeah. today, Tuesdays are turning into in the words of Jesus. You guys, I'm blown away, man. I worked on this narration for a couple hours and the words of Jesus with the multiple translations is so beneficial. I mean, the word is so full of benefits anyway, but I'm thinking, my God, the we're in the words of Jesus. And you'll notice right away, I'm just going to sing it. We'll narrate it in a few minutes, but it's John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. I was thinking, man, why do churches not have an ongoing Bible study with just in the words of Jesus? I don't know. I was getting ready to turn around to Carla. She came up in the office. I said, "Hun, every church should just, you know, take a week on and a week, uh, or take a month on and a month off. But six months out of the year, there should be a Sunday school for adults, just in the words of Jesus. We're not going to do big theological stuff with you, but we want you just to read and look at the words of Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. This is in the words of Jesus. Let not your hearts be.
be trouble you believe in God the Father believe in me it's what Jesus said in the words of Jesus let not your heart be trouble you believe in God believe also in me yeah come on somebody let not your I love this Sean Hannity on Fox News that's how his program starts and go man thanks bro thanks for using the Word of God isn't that right hon let not the, the announcer goes let not your hearts be troubled or he ends the show I guess uh, sometime they go man he's using the Word of God here we go they said let not your heart be troubled you believe in God he said Jesus said believe also in me let not your heart be troubled you believe in God put your trust also in me he said put your trust put your trust yeah put your trust in me and just to double down on it he said don't get lost in despair would you say Jesus the voice translates, says, well, don't get lost in despair. You know, there's a lot of people in the world, or we used to do that in the world before we met the Lord, or now we got believers living in fear. COVID is a virus. COVID is not Lord. Jesus is Lord. Thanks for sharing, Kent. Appreciate it. I know. So don't ever get lost in despair. Believe in God. Jesus said, keep on believing in me. Believe it. He said, set your troubled hearts to rest. Okay. <laughs> In the words of Jesus. And as you guys notice, I'm singing the word more now at the front end during our worship. We will worship here in a minute. Well, this is worship. It's this word. Set your troubled hearts to rest. And don't be upset. As you have faith in God, have faith in me. Wow. It's the New English Bible. Set your troubled hearts to rest and don't be upset. You have faith in God, have faith in me. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, have faith. Jesus said, have faith in me. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God the Father. Believe also in me. Don't let your heart be upset. Let your heart be at rest as you have faith in God. He said, have faith, the Son of God, in the Father's image. He's the perfect image of the Father. And we see the miracles He did on this earth. He said, I did it to glorify my Father, who empowered me to do these miracles. Let not, yeah, yeah, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also have faith in me somebody help me out let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me have faith have faith in me Jesus said don't let your hearts be distressed ooh distress Distress and stress is a faith killer, and it? it'll just wear you out. It just wears you down and wears you down. But he said, don't let your hearts be distressed. And the Passion said it actually means, let not your heart flutter needlessly. Don't even let your heart flutter. Believe in God and believe in me. Don't worry or surrender to your fear. Wow. That's so good. 
Don't surrender your heart to fear. For you believed in God, the disciples, Jesus speaking to them. Now, I want you to trust and believe in me also. Wow. Spirit of the Lord, the song is move. Because when you move, darkness runs for cover. When you move, no one's turned away. Because where you are, fear turns into praise. What? Because where you are, Lord, my fear turns into praises. And where you are, no hearts left unchanged. So come, move, let justice flow on like a river. Let a worship turn into revival and bring us back to you yeah, yeah. so come move let justice roll on like a river let a worship turn into revival Lord lead us Come on, sing it again for revival in the land, every nation in the land. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Because when you move, Lord, The outcast finds a family. The outcast find a family, finally. Because when you move, Lord, the orphan finds a home. Wow. Yeah. Lord, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. With humble hearts, we bow down at your throne. Come on, prophesy with a, so come now, Lord. So come, move, let justice rule on like a river. Let a worship turn into revival. Lead us back to you. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let a worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Lord, lead us back to you. A whole nation, a whole city, a whole community led back to you. Come on, come on, somebody. Say yes, Lord. Wow. Say yes, Lord. Yeah. We say yes, Lord, to your sudden leaves in nations and cities and communities. We say yes, Lord. Ah. We say yes, Lord, to your moving nations and cities and community somebody better be praying out there uh -huh. declaring proclaiming and prophesying i couldn't hear you kent i know proclaiming uh, proclaiming decreeing and prophesying you're moving in the nation you're moving in the nations, cities and communities. 
you're bringing them back to you. Turn their hearts. You are turning their cities and communities. You're turning their hearts back to you. And the bridge. King of all generation. Let every tongue and nation surrender. Sing it out, King of all generations, King of all generations. Let every tongue and nation surrender all to you. Come on, we got it now. Did it now? Let every tongue and nation surrender all to you alone. King, King of all generation, let every tongue and nation surrender. to do it again. It's our prayer song. The King of all generation, let every tongue and nation surrender all to you alone. Come on, sing it. So come, move. So come, move. Let justice rule on like a river. Worship turn into revival. Lead us back to the suddenlies of the Lord. Chris McClarney, Amy. So come, move. Let justice rule on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lead us back to you. Revival. Revival in the land, God. Revival. John 14 today in the words of Jesus. And I brought old school, Lord, I live by your word. We're going to do it until we get it. <laughs> Again, I believe it was Mark Altrogi. He was writing some stuff back in the 80s, man. Lord, I live by your word. I was talking to Matt and Carla. It seems like Monday is my psalm day. And now that we're doing the words of Jesus, 
It's like Tuesdays are turned out to be my in the words of Jesus. It's intercession and worship on Wednesday night and back to a psalm on Thursday. Wow. Led by the Spirit, don't really need to have a big plan, but as the rain and snow comes down from heaven and waters the earth and brings forth, thank you, Isaiah, so shall be the word you are speaking. It shall not return empty. I gotta sing it again. As the rain, as the rain and snow come down from heaven and water the earth and brings forth its fruit, so shall be the word, Lord, that you are speaking. shall not return empty to you it shall accomplish your desire it will surely succeed for your word transforms the desert and your word is changing me Living by his word, you guys. Come on now. Yeah. Lord, I live by every word from your mouth. And I'm like the tree by the stream. I'm bearing fruit, my leaf is green. And all that I do is prospering, oh Lord. I live by your word. Margie Pennington 
oboe, double reed. I can hear it, Margie. I'm going to do the whole thing again. Then we're going to leap into John 14 and hear the words of Jesus. And there's the rain and snow comes down from heaven. And waters the earth and brings forth its fruit. So shall be the word that you are seeing. It shall not return. It shall not return. It shall not return. Empty to you. It shall accomplish your desire. It will surely succeed Cause your word transforms the desert Your word is changing me Prospering, oh Lord, I'm like the tree by the stream. I'm bearing fruit, my leaf is green. All that I do is prospering, oh Lord, I live by you. Guys, lift it up, sing it out. I live by your word. Yeah, we live by your word. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. We live by your word. All right, all right, all right. Then you guys ready? Carla, I want you to. Read the title and the scriptures and pray us into John, Gospel of John, chapter 14. Father God, we approach you tonight Woo! in Jesus, that he is in us and we are in him, that he's the way, the truth, and the life. We come to the Father through Jesus. Let not our hearts be troubled in these tumultuous times, God. We can be so drawn off and get worried and anxious. And God, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You have everything under control. Help us to understand that in our everyday walk with you, God, that you have everything under control and that we need not worry. Let us settle those things in our hearts that you are in control, that we don't somehow take the reins of our lives, try to manipulate something into being that you haven't called wow. into being, God. But help us to just go with the flow of your spirit. Help us to be led by your spirit. Help us to be led by your spirit. Help us to be led by your spirit, not by our heads. And sometimes our heads can be so deceived, but that still small voice that's there in our spirit that lets us know every day you're in control, calm down. We just put it all in your hands, God. 
Help us to understand that as we read these passages of Scripture that were Jesus' words. Let them sink deep yes. into our heart, yes. deep into our minds, deep into our consciousness, God, that we have it on the forefront of our mind at all times and buried deep, deep, deep in our hearts that you can bring it up at any time. In Jesus' name we pray. John 14, verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Don't get lost in despair. Believe in God and keep on believing in me. Don't get lost in despair. Believe in me. <laughs> wow. Yes. Set your troubled hearts to rest and don't be upset. As you have faith in God, have faith in me. Do not let your heart be troubled. You have put your trust in God. Put your trust in me also. Jesus said, don't let your hearts be distressed. Let not your heart flutter. Believe in God and believe in me. Don't worry or surrender to your fear, for you've believed in God. Now trust and believe in me also. Let not your hearts be troubled. Keep on believing in me. That's what Jesus said. Let not your trouble rest assured I am your prince of peace yeah, yeah. let not your heart be troubled you believe in God the Father believe also in me yeah. you can put your faith in me Put your faith in me. I'm the God of eternity. Uh, gotta do it again. Let not, uh, 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 uh. let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in. Put your trust in me. Jesus said. Uh, uh, let not your heart be troubled have faith in me okay lord yeah we're doing that right here I, I, I. let not your heart be troubled you believe in god believe also in me Trust in your faith in my Father's house. Verse 2, John 14. In my Father's house, there are many, many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Wow, Lord, that is amazing. You went forth after your death and resurrection to prepare. He said, I'm going to go prepare a place. Oh, wow. The voice translations, my father's home is designated to accommodate all of you. Wow. If there were not room for everyone, I would have not, I would have, I would have told you that. I'm going to make arrangements for your arrival. Oh, stop for a minute. What, Lord? He said, I'm, this is the words of Jesus. I'm going to make arrangements for your arrival to be with me. <laughs> there are many homes up there, there where my father lives, and I'm going to prepare them for your coming. My father's house has many dwelling places. There are many, many homes in my father's household. If it were otherwise, 
I would tell you plainly because I go by the cross through my death and resurrection I go to prepare a place for you to rest in my father's house in my father's house there are many many mansions if it were not so I would have told you plainly yeah in my father's house there are many many mansions my God thank you Lord and he said I am going to prepare a place for you to dwell with me I'm going to prepare a place where you can dwell with me I'm going forth to prepare a place where you can dwell with me in that awesome somebody say let me see the hearts and the thumbs flying people come on now I got to prepare a place for you so you can live and abide with me yes Sheila I can only imagine yeah I'm going for to prepare a place where you can live and abide with me abide with me verse 3 and 4 and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am there you may be also I will be there to greet you personally oh my Lord. and welcome you home where we will be together. <laughs> After I go and make a place for you, I will come back and take you with me. Then you wow. may be where I am. Wow. I will come and get you so that you can always be with me where I am. If this weren't so, I would tell you plainly. And when everything is ready, I will come back and take you to myself so that you will be where I am. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. You know where I am going, and you know how to get there. Wow, wow. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going, and you know the road I am going to oh, take. Jesus. And you already know the place the way to the place where I'm going. I will come and get you so you can always be with me where I am. Where This is a giant promise, you guys. I will come and get you so that you can always be with me where I am, where I am. This is the Living Bible. Yeah, I will come and get you so that you can always be with me where I am, where Jesus, thank you so much for this promise. Yeah, I will come and get you so you can always be with me where I am, where you you'll come and get us we can always be with you where you are we can always be with you in his presence you guys think about this living in the presence the manifest presence of our holy living God yeah what a giant promise and honestly you guys on verse 4 I was going, God, I, I know the way. Oh, I know your Holy Spirit will know the way. Your Holy Spirit knows the way. <laughs> he goes, you'll know the path. you know the road and the way to go. Then I'm going to take, I said, God, we do. 
Because look at verse 5 and then verse 6. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not where you're, know where you're going. How can we know the way? Thomas speaking, Lord, we don't know where you're going. And so how can we know the pathway? Lord, Thomas pleaded in protest. Lord, we do not know where you're going and how can we know what road you're going to take? Finally, Thomas said, he used the word master. Master. We don't know where you're going. So how could we know the way there? And Jesus said this, you guys, hear it so deeply today. I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Phillips translation says, I myself am the road, replies Jesus, and the truth and the life. Hear it again. He said, I myself, I am the road, Thomas. I'm the truth and the life. No one can approach or even get to the Father except by the means of me. And Jesus explained, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one approaches the Father. No one gets to the Father except through me. Wow. Stay on verse, sec verse 6 for a minute. Yeah. I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the way, the truth, and all the life you'll ever need. Yeah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father. No one approaches the Father except through me. Said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We know, yes, God. I am the way, the truth, and the life, yeah. Thank you for these words, Lord. The truth and the life, and no one approaches the Father except through me. No one gets to the Father except through me. No one gets to the Father except through me. No one approaches the Father except through me. Oh my God, that's awesome. No one gets to approach the Father. One more time he said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth. And this is what the Passion Bible says. Jesus explained. I love that word explained is right there. Because he had to explain it to the disciples one more time. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I am is the life. I am the true reality. No one comes next to the Father except through union with me, except through faith in me. To know me is to know my Father too. Hear it again. He said, I am the true reality. Oh, how many believe it? Again, hearts and thumbs flying, man. Jesus, we know this to be the truth. The world tries to, well, it can't be the only way, bro. Don't, don't be saying stuff. There, there, there's not 100 ways to the living God. There ain't. There just ain't. It's in the dictionary. He said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. 
I'm the true reality. And guess what? No one comes next to the Father except through union with me. Verses except seven. Except through eight. faith through me. Verse seven. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. If you know me, you know the Father. Rest assured now, you know him and have seen him. If you had known me, you would without doubt have, seen, have known my Father also. And henceforth, from henceforth, you shall know him and you have seen him. And from now on, you will realize that you have seen him and experienced him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Philip, Lord, all I'm asking is that you show us the Father. And Philip said, Sir, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. We will be content. And the Passion says, Philip spoke up, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be all that we need. Through you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you've shown us the Father. Through you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have shown us the Father. the ways and the heart of our heavenly father if we've seen you we've seen the father oh lord lord jesus christ of nazareth you've shown us the father by your heart and your miracles jesus yeah Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you've shown us the Father. Because we heard it from you. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. If you've seen me, I'm the exact representation. Hebrew says Jesus is the exact representation of the Father. Woo! The divine image come to earth. Thank the living God. I thank the Lord Jesus that he came. He did the will and the heart of the Father. He said, if you've seen me, this is what the Father's like. There's no confusion about it. Hey, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Let it flow deep in your spirit. Because Philip said, Lord, if you show us the Father, that will be all that we need. It'll be enough. In, in verse 9, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long? And yet, you've not known me, Philip. Wow. I wonder if there's a little sadness in Jesus' heart. When he was talking to Philip, he said, have you been with me so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? Wow. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Wow, so deep. I kept saying today, I'm, I'm doing the narrate. It's so heavy, Lord. Sorry about that. I've lived with you all this time. And you still don't know who I am. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. How can you keep asking to see the Father? 
Jesus replied, don't you even know yet who I am, Philip? Even after all this time I've been with you, anyone who has seen, wow, you guys lock this up of a truth as a truth. That's why we can read the New Testament and go, wow, Jesus, as the exact representation of the Father, showed us who he is. I so appreciate that on so many levels. And we finished verse 9 with a passion. Jesus replied, Philip, I've been with you all this time, and you still don't know who I am? How could you ask me to show you the Father? For anyone who has looked at me, it says who's looked at me has seen. If you guys have looked at the Lord Jesus, you've seen the Father. I'm going to wait just for a second, lock this up. For anyone who has looked, God, we gazed on your beauty. He said, you've seen the Father then. Because I did exactly what my Father spoke, what he said, what he called me to do. If, if you've looked at me, you've seen the Father. Verse 10, Carla. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me, he does the works. Don't you believe, in, believe me when I say, I abide in the Father and the Father dwells in me? I'm not making this up as I go along. The Father has given me these truths that I have been speaking to you, and he empowers all of my actions. What I say to you, I do not say by my own power. The Father who lives in me does his work through me. Don't you believe that the Father is living in me and that I am living in the Father? Even my words are not my own, but come from my Father, for he lives in me and performs his mir miracles of power through me. The Father has given me these truths. I'm speaking to you. He empowers my actions in the words of Jesus. The Father has given me these truths. He empowers my actions. Yeah. Oh, the Heavenly Father has given me these truths. He empowers my miracles. Yeah. So cool, so good. These are the truths, my Father has given me to give to you and i'm gonna sing that i am the father is living in me and i'm living in the father wow my father is living in me and I'm living in the Father. Ah, what a time of contemplation and meditation. The Father is living in me, and I'm living in the Father. For He lives in me and performs His miracles of power. He lives in me, he lives in me, for he lives in me and performs his miracles of power. power. He lives in me, he lives in me, performing these miracles of power. Believe me, verse 11. Okay, Lord, we're going to believe you that I am in the Father 
and the Father is in me. You guys, he did this so that we could understand the union of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He said, even if you don't believe me that I'm in the Father, then go ahead and believe me for the sake of the works themselves that I do. That is amazing. He said, believe me that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me, or else just go ahead and believe me for the sake of the works themselves that I do, that you've seen with your own eyes. Accept these truths. I am in the Father and the Father is in me. If you have trouble believing based on my words, believe because of the things I've done and because of the things I do. Stop right there. We gotta just lean on that for a minute. If you have trouble believing based on my words, then you can do this. Believe because of the things I've done and the things I do. Believe because of the things I've done and the things I do. Believe because of the things I have done because of the things I do. Let's, let's hang on that for a minute. Selah in the New Testament, yeah. Believe me because of the things I have done. Because of the things I do. Believe because of the things I have done. And the things I do. Believe because of the things I've done. Because of the things I do. You guys, do you believe because of the things you've seen in the New Testament? Yes. And because of things he's still doing today, the hand of the Lord is moving throughout the earth. Verse 11, last one, Passion Bible. Believe that I live as one with my Father and that my Father lives as one with me, or at least believe because of the miracles. Believe because of the mighty miracles, and they're so mighty, Lord. And we say yes to verse 11. Verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. I tell you the truth, whoever believes in me will be able to do what I have done. But they will do even greater things, because I will return to be with the Father. The person who trusts me will not only do what I am doing, but even greater things because I, on my way to the Father, am giving you the same work to do that I've been doing. You can count on it. I tell you this timeless truth, this timeless truth. Wow. Wow. The person who follows me in faith, believing in me, will do the same mighty miracles that I do even greater miracles than these because I go to be with my Father. Okay, hang right there. we got to sing it. These works and greater You will do because I go to my Father. These works and greater will you because I go back to my Father. Oh, come on, sing it with me. And let's trust Him for the greater works, greater works. Well, these works you will do. And even greater, because I go to my Father. Yeah. These works. 
works I've done you will do greater works sing it out greater works cause Jesus said so greater works cause Jesus said so yeah they're greater works cause Jesus greater come on say it out loud I will do the greater works of the Lord yeah. and I will do the greater works of Jesus I will do the greater works of the Lord ah, and I will do ah, the greater works of the Lord ah, I will do the greater works come on do it again sing it with me in faith I will do the greater works of the Lord I will of the Lord uh, yeah, and I will these are in the words of Jesus the very words of the Lord let's catch up let's catch up and believe what Jesus said again he said I will do the greater works I will do the greater works of the Lord Stay with me. Come on, guys. And I will do the greater works. Yeah, I will do the greater works. Come on, one more time before Carla finishes. Yeah, and I will do the greater works. Yeah, I will do the greater works of the Lord. And I will do yeah, the greater works. I will do the greater works of the Lord. 13 and 14, and we'll be finished for this stream. Then we'll do the other part a little bit later. No. And whatever you ask in my name, oh my God. that I will do. Yes. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do it so that the Father will get glory from the Son. Jesus. Let me say it again. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. From now on, whatever you request along the lines of who I am wow. and what I am doing, you, I'll Lord. do it. That's how the Father will be seen for who he is in the Son. I mean it. Whatever you request in this way, I'll do it. And the Passion says, for I will do whatever you ask me to do when you ask me in my name. And that is how the Son will show what the Father is really like and bring glory to wow. him. Ask me anything in my name, and I will do it for you. Ask anything, ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. Ask me anything in my name, I will do it for you. It's right there in the scripture, you guys. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it, do it for you. If you ask anything in my name, you, I will do it. I will do it for you. Yeah. Come on, lift it up again. Ah. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. If you ask anything in my name, I 
will do it for you if you ask anything in my name I will do it I'll do it for you well somebody say it's amazing verses 13 and 14 and whatever you ask in my name that's why that name is the name above every other name he said I'm going to do it I'm going to actually do it to a point that the Father is glorified in the Son. The reason I'm giving you power, and I tell you to greater works than even I did, is so that the Father would be glorified in the earth. There'd be glory to the Father that's undeniable. Share it again, Ken. Okay, I will. There's a glory that's released in us doing what Jesus did and beyond so the world will see the glory of the Father. It'll be undeniable. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it for you. Sing it. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. If you ask anything in my name I will do it I'll do it for you just a minute to meditate contemplate the scripture 14 powerful verses and then the rest of the chapter we'll do the Holy Spirit in a different stream but man this is a great day and whatever you ask in my name that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So ask away, and I will do it. Woo! I'm getting ready to fall off this piano bench, Jesus. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys for your support. I'm going to hand off to Matt. And people had a couple big gifts come in, man. Somebody gave $1,000. I think if Susan Lott did two fifty five, dollars you guys, that's how we're getting down the road. I'm not on the road uh, doing worship weekends anymore, at least for the time being. And uh, May, June, July, uh, I think we almost made it in August. But thank you for your support, man, because that's how we're getting the streams, making them available. And it looks like, uh, I know we're getting people that have no idea who I am or what we're doing. They're jumping on, they're finding their way to the site. I know Saturday night. So I want you to really pray about that. I mean, unsaved people are coming. What are you guys doing? What is this? And even Matt said, Dad, you need to get a salvation video to, together on how to receive the Lord. So I want you guys to begin to pray about that. That's what we've been looking for, to reach the lost even more great for the Lord. All right, Matt, go ahead and tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> yes, amen and amen. It is so great to see you guys for today's Tuesday live stream, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching this on the restream, welcome to you as well. We love seeing all the friends, no matter what time you're catching it, whether you're catching this later. If you can't hit that like button, hit that share button for us. It's huge for these videos, making it to as many friends as possible. That's why we're here doing it, to put the word of God out in this way for everyone to come find to soak in to be um to dwell in and to be a part of so we're so thankful for you guys joining us each and every day being on here live seeing all the comments seeing our prayer requests come in we pray for one another one another we lift each other up and that's why we're here we're here to support the body of christ to exhort them to lift them up and as he said we're catching all sorts of people in these streams whether they know who we are or not so uh your liking and sharing is hugely helpful for you know lots of people to be um notified that we're doing this and that we're going live and um, i just think it's an awesome way to get god's word into people's um, living rooms into their homes into their devices to, to watch and view and be a part of. So if you want to support these things, being out for free each and every month, we go live five days a week. 
And uh, we want to see you guys back for tomorrow, which will be 7 p.m. But if you want to support today's stream, we try to raise about $360 per stream for our budget for our month uh, as a whole to be met. And like he said last month, we were a couple thousand short. So anything you guys can do is super helpful for the budget of these going out, for them being out free, for whoever can catch them to catch them and to be in God's Word. So if you want to do that today, it's chman.org or kenthenry.com. You're looking at the chman.org right here. This is the donations tab. If you click on, it'll take you to the donations page where you can become a monthly supporter. You can do a one-time gift or you can do the 12 campaign, all available right here on this site. Those are all buttons if you click on them. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the give by check and where you can send a check if you're a check giver. We also have the store available with all the products and resources from 40 years of doing worship and ministry. And uh, here's my daughter Hadley joining me for for our yeah, time. Listen, I want to tell <laughs> she everybody, she was singing with me during yeah. the whole set. Everybody said, Hey Hadley, what's up, girl? Yes, she oh, was. Listen, she is. She's five, and she can sing like the wind. Yeah, and uh, man, she's on pitch and awesome. She yeah, stayed for the now, full hour, Papa. which is amazing for yeah, a five-year-old. She's been here the and whole she time. She said she likes me, so I'm right. I'm in. And if you guys want to check out the stuff on the store, you can give right here through the store as well. So check it out. You can sign up for twenty percent off of your first uh, purchase. So check that out. If you're a PayPal friend, you can do PayPal.me/chman in your browser or from your app on there, and you can give this way, log in this way, safe and secure through PayPal. Um, if you're joining us on Facebook, we have Facebook's fundraiser set up every month. This one's for September this month that you're watching for. So check that out. In, pinned in your comments right now if you guys are on Facebook and you also have the stars available right there. You can buy a bulk amounts of those, give small amounts of those, whatever you'd like to do. Those are worth one cent a piece. So check that out in your comments if you're a Facebook friend. We also have YouTube Super Chat right there as a dollar sign if you're joining us on YouTube, you can give right through YouTube. If you're set up to do that, you can do that all safe and secure right there through the YouTube platform. We also have the uh, giving where we can text. If you want to do a text gift, you can do CHM give in your message box to 44321. And then it'll send a link back to you where you can click on it. All done through GiveLively.org, our partner on that. You can also do the Give 12 program in that same matter. Put in Give 12 to 44321 and it'll send you a different link to that program where you can join us there and give monthly to the program. We thank you guys for joining us and we also like to see if you guys are using Amazon, if you can use the Smile program instead. It's the same exact Amazon website, but they give a half percent donation for all the things that you put in your cart. Uh, pretty much all of them. So check that out if you're not available. There's a direct link right on your screen right now that you can use, but also pinned in your comments on these platforms. It's available there as well. We want to connect with you guys. Hit that like, hit that share button, turn on your notifications. We want to make sure that we connect with you each and every day that we're live. That's five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, Wednesday, Saturdays at 7 p.m. We want to, <laughs> she stared at herself. We want to see you guys back for tomorrow. That is going to be the worship Wednesday night down at the Gateway House of Prayer here in St. Louis, 7 p.m. Let somebody new know that we will be down there. We want to worship together for two hours with you tomorrow night and intercede for our nation and your nation. So join us back there tomorrow night and be blessed until we see you again.